trick to make this, it's actually quite fun to draw these lines. Uh, you see I make this now, then it goes all around this uh, space, uh, it goes up and down and, well, I don't want it to do that, so, especially if I'm, I want to make the wire go around this, then it's going to be a problem, I think, so, you can see, this is not working. And that's because I got all grid on. If I take it off, it's gonna make it down here, and that's not very useful either. But I'm gonna put all grid on, and then I'm gonna use this smart magnet snap tool. I'm gonna right click to go into the options, and I'm gonna have grid point selected, edge and segment, and face selected. And then just close it again, and then you can see. I've got a lot of points I can choose around, um, so I can actually make. Let's see if I can go down here. It's not easy, but I'm gonna make it um, go around here. Start from here, and sorry, I have to check one more thing. I want a little more thickness so I can actually see it, and I want it to go from initial type to smooth and drag type by smooth so when I create this it's a follow follow that was wrong you have to practice a little doing this um, sometimes it can be very annoying um, but once you get a hang of it it's not really that bad I just select the wrong edges all the time, sorry. <laughs> Let's try this again. And there, and now we need to select the right one here. There. 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 And there. That's fine for now. Then we created a small wire here. It's not very thick, but can change that so we can see a little easier like that and then you can see we have a little overlapping problem down here and we need to fix that so we'll start by change my camera view and then you have to go into the modify line segments okay, you can choose segments if you want you must turn snap off, you can use that by just pressing as S on your keyboard and then we can choose segments here and we can uh, change this the way we want um, so I can see I want it maybe like this you can rotate it a little So this is also uh, something you just have to live with but if you are focusing and doing it so it looks good then it can actually become a very pretty wire cable thingy and um, that's what we are after and now it looks somewhat decent um, we need segments down here a bit up we need this segment rotate a little not that way I'm afraid like that and move it again just like you want it to move and um, you can of course make these as you want if I'm gonna show you how to make uh, some pipes here and uh, you can get some problems by doing this but um, it's a lot easier than other methods, so we'll use it. Spine, line again, same old, same old. Snap on, and we'll try and make a pipe like that. Here we got a pipe again, and we are gonna move it. Snap on, move, and take it out here. Let's see if we can get this above my in here and down just doing it fast here that 
and then I'm gonna go up here zoom a little bit yeah it looks right convert it to edible poly like that choose polygon like that and drag it up you may notice on these lines if you do select these uh, polygons there is a um, little annoying thing about lines creates these two small polygons here so you have to select these two and then you can drag it up um, and then you have a normal pipe here take the wireframe okay. then you got a pipe uh, and then you can um, create more of them and copy them or whatever you want but what now if I had to go around some corners well then you got a few options um, you can choose the line again as before no new shape snap on then down here in the creation method can change it to corner and corner and you'll get pipe looking tubes and then you can do this like that like that like that and yeah up here now you've got a pipe going around here and then you can move it up. Oh, snap off and out to here and there and do the same again up here. Edible poly. Oh, this function is so annoying when you're using Camtasia. <laughs> Polygon there and as I said before, remember the two small polygons which is created there. And up we go. Now we can try something else. Let's try make a floating one. So if I want to create a little wire here, I can make it go from snap on here and to the box over here like that make it a little smaller then I have a little wire there um, it's also very fast for creating you can make them all the way all around this place here um, and you can change them as well if you want it to be smooth smooth make the wire go from here again and then here this will look the same but <laughs> if you have a corner on it or like this that would probably uh, not be good with electric power so but you I think you see the idea that you can make a lot of wires and hoses and make a lot of stuff with this. This is the bad example, which went wrong. But play around with it, and eventually you'll be pretty, uh, pretty good to uh, to do it. But as everything in 3ds Max, you need practice. By listening to a troll will not make you an expert. Uh, I hope you understood some of this, um, and I hope it helped. So please come back again and see you soon. 3dparadise.com